Rico has come up with its list of what each Major League Baseball franchise is worth. It is a futile exercise because the sports franchise is only worth as much as someone is willing to pay to buy it. Case in point, 2020, Steve Cohen decided to spend more than $2 billion to buy the New York Mets Major League Baseball franchise. Cohen made a vanity purchase because he wanted the team and is spending money on his business. A team is worth whatever the seller gets from a potential buyer, and it doesn't matter what Forbes or Sportico writers think a team is worth. Sportico has the New York Yankees as the industry's most valuable franchise. George Steinbrenner and his partners bought the team in 1973 for a reported $10 million. Hal Steinbrenner and his partners could get, according to Sportico, $7.13 billion if Hal Steinbrenner and his partners wanted to dispose of the business and found someone who wanted to buy it. The Yankees franchise is worth $4 billion more than Cohn's Mets, which comes sixth in the Sportico valuations behind Los Angeles, Boston, Chicago Cubs, and San Francisco. For what it is worth, the Dodgers business is valued at $5.24 billion. John Henry's Red Sox business is pegged at $5.21 billion. The Ricketts family-owned Cubs is worth $4.69 billion. San Francisco Giants franchise is worth $3.81 billion. It's hard to believe that Cohen's Mets are worth only $2.8 billion. A's owner, John Fisher, who's looking for a new ballpark in either Oakland or Las Vegas, has a business worth more than the Pittsburgh Pirates, the Kansas City Royals, the stadium-needy Tampa Bay Rays, and the Miami Marlins. The Marlins franchise is worth slightly more than a billion dollars. I'm Evan Wiener.